Hi guys, welcome. This is the Carly, well, SSD. And I just downloaded around one gigabyte <laughs> of updates. And of course, I rebooted. So all the latest kernels and everything is in. No issues with Nvidia, since this is not a Nvidia machine. I have an Intel HD Graphics 630. Never had any issues in the last four years. Just saying. The topic of the video is Arch ISO, as you might have gathered. We have a new update and we have to figure out um, what we shall do and so on. We have Carly. Carly, uh, the intention with Carly is you are going for a customized, let's do Carly ISO. There you go. Good. Articlexiso.com. It's an, a way to have a customized Arch Linux ISO. We teach you from scratch how to make an ISO and all the packages you like it, you like are on there and your own configurations as well. So we learn you about package building, repos, adding repos and so on. Lots and lots and lots of information. You can actually binge watch this, what we've done, creating calamars and so on. At some point in time, you're at version 9. Let me see, repo. Okay, Carly 9. And this is one of our latest articles. So I guess we were at 49-1. Let's stick to version 9 and make a article number 6 using Arch ISO. And you saw the number there, 51. Okay. Oops, my mistake. Let me go back to history, I suppose not. Control Shift T. Did you know that one? Control Shift T. And we go for this one. Da -da -da -da. Let's have a look. Here we are. Code. Carly 9. So basically, you are going to git clone this thing or download the zip and extract. What I'm going to do, of course, I've got everything already on my system. I'm going to go to Carly. Carly 9 is here. And I've pushed everything to the internet. Let me pause here and type in all my credentials. So that's that. That's online. It was just a minus V thing that we've added at some point in time. Here you see choices, right? There are lots of Lego blocks. On Arch Linux, do you want to install Plasma or Cinnamon or Deeping or Gnome or Mate? And it's just a long list of things you want to add or not add, right? It's just a choice. What do you want? And it starts with the Arch ISO. So in this concept of uh, Carly, we're actually following 100% Arch Linux. In Arch Linux, we do not. And that's the main big difference between the both of them and we would like to keep it that way think about the blocks install the blocks you like and this one carly is just basically a dump of uh, arch iso it's not that negative because it sounds negative but it's following 100 percent arch iso guys in user share arch iso this is the new one. This is the new Relang, right? And the question is, okay, so what changed? So control C, I'm gonna move me somewhere where I can work with. This is the Arch ISO. And in there is these, the same folders you see here. And a bit more because it's already currently nine we are going to do is a super f5 we use melt and we're going to compare directory 9 oops that's a bit too fast up like this carly 9 and compare that one with the one we have on the desktop like so of course i could use the other one in user share but voila workflow thing so the nine one is the one that needs updating 
and the relay is the one that's coming from Arch ISO from Arch Linux. So let's start with the first things. Okay, etc. Resolve, resolve, that's okay. That's in, in order. We have our own Carly thing. Okay, so we keep the Carly thing. Linux preset is the same. Mod probe, it's the same. As DM, well, we use SDM as login or as display manager. So yes, we're going to keep using our display manager. Uh, Arch Linux does not have it. You know, if you installed it, you end up in a black screen. That's not our goal. Our goal is to have a graphical installer, Calamaris, and end up in something graphical, right? Easy, better. So, sudo or gwheel is something we need to be um, in control. So we're gonna keep that as well. And let's let's open it just to see. I don't know what's happening. It's slow, sluggish. And like you see, I'm clicking in it. Wait a little bit before it opens. There you are. Everything looks still the same, very much the same. And this one, that's something else. The PacMat in its service is pointing one level up. So that's this guy. Let's see. All good. Well, yeah, Carly here, no Carly there. That's basically it. And a lo local signing key. So there are differences. And it's super, super slow. Not sure what's happening here to my machine. Melt, sure. Simple screen recorder, sure. Okay. Let's continue. So this should open and it should color. It should color here something. That is different. Host name, Arch, ISO and Carly correct so these guys were not opened yet let's click them wait for it there is a pacman.conf that we have added we need that because we need a Kali repo so that's there for that reason and here's something new so the ISO Linux CFG is gone actually I'm not interested in the same things maybe that will help or maybe I should just close and start again. Okay, no melt available. Oh, I know what it is. Guys, if um, if you have a work thing, this is your complete system. He's, he's trying to read everything, your complete operating system. Ah, stupid. Well, I'll leave it in so you know what's going on next time you do the same thing as me. Clean up, it's called. Clean up. That's gone. And Super F5. So I was reading complete operating system. Uh, duh. So again, this guy, the same does not interest me. So the pacman.conf. Now it's faster, right? And here's some changes. Arch Linux, Arch Linux, okay, Carly, I mean, cool, fine, let's leave it. This guy is gone. It's just gone. Okay, delete it. This guy is gone, delete it. And they've changed their, um, their the way of the getting their uh, pathway. So, Carly Linux, I'm going to change that back, of course. Carly Linux, save. And then here, watch out, Carly. Okay, so I'm going to leave this. Now we have issues. We need to get this. Okay, control C in front of boot. In front of boot, in front of boot and in front of boot ah, suddenly it's not blue anymore means I did my work correctly 
Gum. Gone again. Carly, Carly. Okay, fine. And then we're gonna boot into it. Here he is, comma. Look for the comma. Save. The only differences are Arch and Carly. Check. Here it's gonna be this one, that one, and that one. Done. Here it's Arch and Carly, and here we go again. Okay, that's my son screaming. You know, if you have gamers in the house. That's all normal. Up oh, there you go. Arch, 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 Carly, Carly. Fine, we are Harley. Not arch. Safe. All the differences that should leave to stay is Carly and Arch. Okay, next up. Arch ISO and so on. That stays the same. Tail. So it's a shorter version now. Or a longer version. <laughs> anyway, it's this version. The splash and the splash and the splash and the sizzle like CFG is now all in here. Voila. And the rest is what we've done. Git ignore, read me stuff, arch iso read me. Basically, it's gonna change for, for this will become 51, right? 51-1 something, save. That's the version we're having. A build to clean up git, import Carly keys. All good. Packages. Ah. Fat resize, G part. This is where I do not think, right? We do not want these packages on our system. But this is the moment I can just get everything from Arch ISO. So the list coming from Arch ISO. And then we decide to install Carly or Cinnamon or XFCE and so on. So all these elements have been chosen in the previous videos. Lego blocks. What do you want? We have our own repo, a Carly repo to get uh, calamars in, for example. Profile dev, that's an important one. So, Carly, Carly date, Carly Linux.org, fine, Carly Linux live. This is new. Okay. Now, we have been playing around with um, Arkham Linux, of course, for the release. And I'm just gonna put it dull here. We decided to delete all that, I think. Let me pause here and check. Because this doubles in time. If you do it this way, it, your, your ISO building will double in time rather than doing it like this. But I have to check the setting. All right, checked, it's correct. So there are some elements he's going to take care of, the, the permissions, it's not uh, that might be in the future, I don't know, it's not this defining groups, but it is defining permissions like um, read, write, execute, and he wants shadow to be 400, root 750, and so on, and so on. So that's set there. Um, I think it's time to do a refresh. Always do that. Check yourself again, right? Check yourself again. Carly as in login, yeah. This guy is pointing to somewhere else. That's this guy. Why is he still blue? Because Arch Linux and Carly and the signing of the key. Sure, that's why it's still blue. Host name is Carly and Arch Linux. Pacman conf is our thing. With our Arch Linux ISO GitHub, okay, and then we have customized AI root file system. 
This is completely gone. Well, we'll see if it still works. If it doesn't work anymore, we need to figure out things that, that, uh, that this get fixed. One of the things is this, for example. It's important that the pull git D there is, is uh, corrected. Let's see. At some point in time, we'll, uh, we'll have to look at it. But hey, if it doesn't break. So Carly ISO. Carly, 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 everywhere. Again, Carly, 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 everywhere. And then splash, 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 all images. And all the rest is important. And built, where's my build? Built is now here. That's also something that's gone here. But uh, we'll see, we'll see. So, that's the comparison. Can we build it? I believe it was pseudo built here. You can see it in the in the in the README in here README MD pseudo built sh minus v closing the settings. Okay. Hopla. I will see if it builds. So we get to here an overview. Build date. And off it goes. Downloading stuff. And we got an error. So Pac-Man op signature is invalid for cache and well, okay, cache. So you get the idea, SCC. Let's clean out the cache and build again. Now everything needs to be downloaded, but then again, the error is gone. The cache is, is deleted and who cares, right? Download again. Well, if I've learned something in uh, this project is that not everybody has the, the same resources. Fast internet, bandwidth, and that of course restricts yourself. Right? It's uh, restricting if you're not able to download all these gigabytes of Arch Linux. I updated this machine. Let's have a look. Last time I updated was the seventh. No, really? So in 14 days, one gigabyte of download. <clears throat> That's a bit much. One gig is normally a month. More or less, right guys? More or less. So we have 735 packages. That's nothing. That is nothing. We have 1,417 packages on our flagship. It's missing so much fun. But hey, the idea was and is that this guy is more minimal approach. So this thing here, this uh, plasma, you can add more things, lots of packages. I, with one packaging group, this guy, you get one gigabyte more, you get all the Ballets and games, I mean, and all the oh, so many packages. Just Google it KDE applications meta and see the long list you get if you install that one. Now, while I'm waiting anyway, I was in, in I intended not to do this, right? It's up to you guys to update things. So, this is plasma, it's the same thing. Let's go down. Plasma, plasma, plasma. So we've chosen here to do plasma stuff. This is how quickly it is done to update things. Done. Melt. Great tool. Super tool. You want cinnamon. You want to update this package. You want to build cinnamon. Then you are going to replace one content with the other. Now let's have a look. So this is 
Okay, and then this goes here. Dialog is out. This one is out. So you see over time, it's Arch ISO that decides things to get things away and then change other things. And, and it's, it is a living creature, right? It's always changing. And sometimes people say, hey, it used to work and now it doesn't work. It's a living, breathing creature. It always changes. This is Arch ISO of a few months ago. And look at the changes in the meantime. But again, so this is me not thinking. That's Carly, right? You not thinking. This is all Arch ISO, the new release 51. And here we're going to differ. Here we're gonna say, look, let's install Cinnamon. And it seems we've uh, chosen also there to go for SDM, which is well, a choice, but um, LightDM is what we use normally and all the other things. Done, it's updated again. It doesn't take that long, I know, but it's, it's work for me, right? It's not fun, this, it's just work. Compare. Now, since we're doing a copy paste anyway, this is all from Arch ISO till here. Control C. So this bit, oops. Till here, I guess. Nah. And all the rest is choices again. I don't want plasma, I don't want this. I want deeping and deeping extra. You got it. And I'd rather work with, I could use, I could open GNOME, right? But then, well, then I can't compare, then I can't see what the differences are. This is super educational. I mean, the right side is GNOME. How do you install GNOME? By typing GNOME and GNOME tweaks and maybe go OK and, and maybe not. It's a choice what you put in there in that particular uh, file. Not done already. Okay, let's compare one more. In the meantime, everything is done. Voila, so this is Arch ISO, and here we decide to type two words. Two words gives you a desktop. I know, but for me, that's magic. For me, that's great, that's, that's just awesome. Yeah. Hey. Yibla. Okay. So the difference, XFC for goodies. Ah, two words. You got XFC. Then it's up to you. Teaming, tweaking. Oh, it's finished. And I'm finished too. Great. So there you go. We have now a Carly. 1.4 gigs for plasma. That's nothing. Ah, let's try Super F7, Carly 9, optical drive, choose this file, Carly 9 out, fine, 2012, that's correct, boot up, and one in all video, right? Everything in one go. So if you're wondering how to create the cinnamon, it's the packages x8664, it's that content that counts. All the rest is just never looked at, upon. So you need to replace the content. And that's why Plasma is twice in there. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. What do you do? Control T, yep, that's working. And you say PK execute cars. Let's do it in one long video. La -ma -my. So there you go, lip boost. A while ago, or might be already two weeks ago, remember the Python 3.9 thing that we got and then the boost got updated. It all means you got to rebuild Calamaris. That's your trigger. So, oh my God, there we go again. Rebuild Calamaris. Fine, rebuilding Calamaris. Um, 
Yeah, why not in one video? How much time? 30 minutes. No, 25. So, um, boop, 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 boop. package build. Calamars. Uh, oh, that's a pretty recent uh, version. Right. I think it is. Yeah, yeah, I think it is. So, I'm just gonna build it again. Make me the package. And this, of course, will take a bit of time. First, gonna download everything. Let's hope that doesn't take too much time. How's my my mirror list these days? Still is back. Cool. You know, we have now this new script. If I want to have Osbeck as mirror, I can just run this thing. Bomb. And it shows what's happening. It shows that I'm gonna using, I will be using only this guy. So there's no fallback. Uh, and mirror list. But never had the need of any fallback in maybe two weeks already. So that's good. And if there is a problem, you know the drill. Mirror is a good one. Mirror S, mirror D, mirror A of your own created in the personal bash RC you've put in there. A miraculous reflector thing, because that's all it is. It's an alias to run some command with reflector. Right. Is there anything else maybe you can do in the meantime? There's always a stay up to date thing. Stay rolling 2020. And it says here about Pac-Man, that's true, Control T. How's that here? Did we run that already? Yeah, we ran it already. So these guys need to be at the top of everything. And then Arch Linux comes. So first us, then them. If there's a problem with Discord that we had a few weeks ago, then we put our build in here. You get the correct version of Discord in and then and, Arch Linux guys will not have it, right? That's the, the cool thing about it, if you put them at the top. So this is done. And this I don't think is anything interesting. Let's have a look. HW Probe and so on and AppStream. We can see if that's done or not. Stay rolling. Okay, done already. And this is done as well. That's cool. So back, 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 back. We have now a version of Calamars. I'm going to sign it. Always forget that. <laughs> so I do it like this. Workflow. And so it is. It is signed now. This guy, well, let's delete first a little bit. That guy there. And this guy is built. So cut. I need to go to the repo. Put it in my repo, control V, replace all, that's good. And then let's put everything online. RS update. And you see, always check what happens. So we see a Hmm, I find it strange. I see Sig, and where's the other one? The other guy. Yeah. Well, we'll soon know if it's working or not. Where is my... Okay, everything closed. Back to Carly. We need to rebuild everything, right? Carly 9. So the work will be deleted again. Pseudo and then build sh now he thinks everything is uh, built already so it goes done no you're not done clean up built now everything is already on my machine so that's one thing that goes fast but there's one line I need to check. Which line would that be? Or 
red. I thought that was something wrong with the little guy, the little bugger. So, back to... Ah, yeah, yeah. I did what I should never do, what I always say to the guys. Don't do. <laughs> what did I do? Control C, Control V. Always make a new package, new number, new package. Don't reuse things. Pac-Man does not like it. Do not do. And what did what do? He did it. <laughs> well, two things already to learn from. But we're set, huh? Oh, I forgot again to sign it. Let's have a look at the make mom make package. There's a possibility sign an S or something, I believe it is. Let's have a look. Sync depths install missing dependencies. Nope, that's not it. Also interesting, but um, here, sign it is. Dash dash sign the resulting package with GPG overwriting the setting and make package. So this thing I could do instead of the GPG detach sign. Everything is on your computer. I can't stress that enough. People go look on internet and Google. It's here, right? You want to know something about Pac-Man? Read. It's here. One of the things that I found out that I find so useful and that came too late in my life on Arco Linux is this guy. A Q and an O. Search for packages that own the specific or specified files. The path can be relative or absolute. I, if I knew, if I had known that earlier in my life, that would be great. It's like CD, ETC, LS, and I don't know, just take one of them. Of course, take something that's, I don't know if mod D is gonna result in something. Pseudo Pacman minus Q O. And you're wondering this ETC mod D. Who is responsible for that file? And is in the package file system. So sometimes you're looking at things and you're analyzing, say, where is that file coming from? Who's responsible for that file? So it's the file system. I should actually hmm, click here, I suppose. File system. And this is the base Arch Linux files. If you're thinking of reinstalling, anyway, just remove this guy and, and you're stuck. <laughs> you can't do anything anymore. So pin R, this FS step group is gone, host is gone, issue is gone, mod DD, there he is, and so on and so on. Password profile. So things that you better not remove. Always good before you do a clean install. <laughs> anyway, so QO and then you figure out, hey. It's that particular package that provides it, like screen or C. Pfft, I don't know, but I'm curious. Ah, huh, okay, package screen. Sure, uh, what is the package screen? Then I go back to Pac-Man. Of Pac-Man, pa pa mac am I? Uh, screen, right? What is screen? Screen, full screen window manager that most likes a physical terminal, okay. Can I read more? Here I can read more. A full screen window managed multiplex of physical terminal with several processes, typically interactive shells. Not that I know anything more, but okay. And gradually we become smarter. GPG, detach. Sign, colors. That's the guy. Clean everything up. Bloop. And these two guys going to go in the repo. This time I'm making sure. Where's the repo? One up. 
repo repo control F. So this guy is an old guy. Now he'll he'll know and will be deleted. Old one, new one. So remember, up the number, up the number. Pac-Man does not like it. If you do it again, the same number. And now we see delete mode of this one and create mode of that one. So that's cool. And that's cool here as well. Rename fine as long as it's okay. All right, build. And here we see a Calamaris. I hope this is signing. I, I see two lines here, which uh, I find distracting. And we can't see that now. Control C, I'm gonna just stop this thing halfway and I'll clean everything up. Ah, uh, oh my God, guys, I need to reboot. If that happens, you need to reboot. I don't think I can actually do anything about it. Well, that's my solution anyway. That's rebooting. Because where is this thing? Disconnect U mount. Sorry guys, next video, reboot.